conclusion, we have a swarm of mapping automatons, SOMA, and they have the abilities to uh, sense ultrasonic and IR. The software for this hasn't been tested yet, but the hardware is there. Uh, it has full RF communication, and it does map nothing. So uh, next we're going to show a demonstration of what SOMA is. <laughs> so Marvin is this right most guy. Um, so he's not he's not doing that. <laughs> just joined, and so he claims himself as the leader of the swarm and is now going around and mapping out the room. This guy is not doing anything while the other robot is moving. This is proving that we have dynamic leadership in our network. Um, Apparently <laughs> it's not dry. Oh no. Just keep your feet there, you're fine. <laughs> How did they determine a leader? Um, so as soon as a as soon as the swarm is initiated, a robot creates himself in in his own in his own group and assigns himself as the leader. When another robot decides to when another robot turns on, he checks to see if there's a network already out there. And if there is one, he'll go ahead and join that network, but not as the leader. Then every uh, every now and then, the leadership token is passed around between robots. We got one more. Good. Okay, great. So we now we have a third robot. So um, this is our GUI. Um, you can see he's mapping again. Uh, gray is unexplored, white is explored, and black is the same obstacles. Your definition of explored is that your um, ultrasonic sensors have explored the area, or they've actually traversed that path? Uh, it's the ultrasonic. Ultrasonic. Okay. So. How Only one person can be exploring right now. Oh, they're getting up. So go. here's the second robot. Let me change. Leadership changed, and now our second robot in red is, is doing his thing. So, so what do the other ones do when they're not the leader? Wait, I have two questions at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what is, so what are the other ones they're doing when they're not the leader? They're just sitting there doing nothing. The reason for that is um, we wanted to demonstrate a swarm with a network with dynamic leadership. However, if we're emitting ping sensors at the same time, we might get bad data. Um, at this point, we're not really doing that. That'd just be more software that we just didn't have time to, to implement this quarter. If they recognize an uh, object in their path, do they need to bump against it, or can they avoid it using the sensors? No, the ultrasonic ping sensors can determine that if an obstacle is too close to it, it will go ahead and turn. Like Rachel just demonstrated. <laughs> and we actually, the, the our robots have bump sensors in the front of them, but we're not actually using them. Right now. When they turn, it's solely because of the infrared. Um, the yeah, iRobot the iRobot Crete also has cliff sensors, so if it comes up against some stairs, it will know not to go there. Um, just um, I are like there's hanging off the front of the robot. What's the theme song? Yeah, that's that's Oh, the theme song. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got to answering questions. So, uh, Any other questions while these guys explore? Are there any objects that are currently in the screen? So, um, the only, it's showing very small, like one pixel dots. Um, again, we haven't had a whole lot of time to optimize our, our mapping software. I mean, we're getting raw data and pretty much displaying that. So. <laughs> All right, so 